Hi. So what you're going to be seeing here is this is a clip from my live stream. And over here is the chat replay, which you're not going to be able to see any of the cleared messages. But over here in the background, you're going to be able to see all the chats that's actually happening um, before it gets cleared. If he did, like, um, I mean, like. You can see the bot attack happening, and He'd here my moderators are typing down, a very simple command lock that executes down. a bunch of different things to help lock down chat and basically make it so that your viewers um, and people in chat have uh, an uninterrupted experience. Stay tuned to the rest of this video if you want to learn how to set this up for yourself. Before we get into this, you are going to need to have OBS Studio and you're going to be downloading something called Lioran Board. If you're curious about Lioran Board, I actually did cover it uh, in a previous video before, which you should see popping up on the screen. So once you have Lioran Board open, you're going to get a zip file. So what you're going to do is you're going to extract this zip file into a new folder. You can put this anywhere. I recommend just putting it like on your root directory of your C drive, like I did right here. And then you are going to be opening up Lioran board receiver folder, and there's going to be um, the Lioran board receiver application. Next, you're going to need uh, a plugin for OBS called OBS WebSocket. You can download OBS WebSocket using the link below. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add that to your plugin directory in OBS. All the instructions should be in the link that's going to be down below and then restart OBS. Now that you have OBS WebSocket plugin, you should be able to open Lioran board receiver right away. It's going to be connecting to OBS because it's all using the default web socket. Next, you're going to go back to the Lioran board folder and you're going to look and you're going to find something called TSL transmitter uh, .htm. So in OBS, you're going to go to sources and you're going to be adding a browser source. I would just name this whatever you want. I'm going to name this Lioran. And then you're going to click on local file. And then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be browsing for that uh, TSL transmitter and then you're just going to be selecting it and then press OK. So then what you can do with this is that you don't actually have to have this on the screen at all times. It just needs to be active. So what you can do is just make it smaller. And then you, what I like to do is I just like to um, just put it off the scene and you only need to have this browser source in one of your scenes at all times. So it doesn't even need to be in your main scene. I'm just putting it in my main scene um, because I, I, I'm, I'm a rebel without a cause. So now click on link to Twitch and click on open URL. And this is going to authorize Lioran board to work with Twitch commands. And you can close that. And now click on connect to Twitch. All three of these things, connect to OBS, link to Twitch and connect to Twitch, all should be now grayed out, meaning that they all are working. So now you, now you have Lioran board completely set up. So now let's get started. So we're going to be making a new command. Uh, so this is going to be a command that can be you, you can set, uh, who is going to be using it. You should be making a new button and, uh, just call it spam. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding a bunch of different commands that are going to happen when this button is activated. So you're going to be pressing the plus sign down below. And a lot of these things are going to be something called Twitch chat messages. You can also change source visibility. If you have your follower a notification on a separate source, like I recommended in this previous video over here, you can make it so that it'll toggle this completely off. What you're going to do is you're going to press on the plus sign and you're going to be doing these following commands. You're going to be adding a Twitch chat message. Command is going to be slash followers for 24 hours. The next you're going to make another one slash timeout. And I like to time out the stream labs or stream elements, depending on which one you have. That way your chat doesn't get spammed with those follow notifications from those. And then you could also toggle any source change visibility that you need as well. What you're going to do is make a duplicate of these. So now you're going to choose how long you want this delay to be. So I have this set to add a delay of 10 minutes. So essentially what's going to be happening first, when you activate this command, it's going to set follower only mode based on 24 hours. So anyone who hasn't been following for longer than 24 hours would not be able to chat in the stream. It's going to time out both of the bots to prevent the spam. And it's also going to be clearing chat and it's going to be toggling any source visibility that we might need after uh, 10 minutes in milliseconds. What we're going to do is just, we're going to untime out the mods, turn off follower only mode, and then remod the boss that we need and then show any sources or unshow sources that we have. This is the setup that you would need to have a panic button for Twitch. Next on the button, you can right click it and go to edit Twitch triggers. 
So here in edit twitch triggers, you can make the command whatever you want. So in my case, the command is explanation mark spam. And you can check who you want this to be available for. In my case, I made it so that only moderators can use this command. Whenever someone, a moderator uses this command explanation mark spam, it will automatically enable that panic button setting uh, for you, uh, making things a lot easier. That's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, post in the comment down below or pop into my live stream linked below as well. Bye bye.